Let's take a look at Broadcom stocks and see what's happening with them. We'll definitely examine the volatility, the volatility smile, and also touch on the 3D volatility, which is a very interesting graph. We'll look at the options chain, analyze the fundamental indicators, and try to forecast where the stock might go next. Let's start from the beginning, understanding what this company is. Broadcom is a global technology company which designs, develops, and supplies semiconductors and infrastructure software solutions. It operates through the semiconductor solutions and infrastructure software segments. The semiconductor solutions segment refers to product lines and intellectual property licensing. The infrastructure software segment relates to mainframe, distributed and cybersecurity solutions, and the FC SAN business. The company was founded in 1961 and is headquartered in Palo Alto. The company is very well known and solid. Let's look at its financial indicators in reality. Everything looks very good here. There's rapid revenue growth, fast profit growth, and fundamentally, the company is in a good position. It's currently valued at $640 billion with net profits of $11 billion. Yes, the indicators are somewhat oversold at the moment, or rather quite oversold. Broadcom also pays dividends. The fundamental aspect of the company is very strong. Mainly, investment banks and funds are increasing their targets for this company. Let's immediately look at the volatility, which is a very important aspect. This will help us formulate a sound strategy. As we can see, the volatility was very high associated with the report, and after the report, it significantly decreased. At the moment, the company is growing very strongly. As we see, it has grown by 16% over the last three days, which is a very strong growth. And because of this, the volatility is starting to rise, especially on the nearest strike. As we see on March 22nd, this strike is most susceptible to volatility changes. Let's look at the volatility smile for the nearest strikes the volatility is directed towards both puts and calls, which is a good sign. Additionally, we see that the further volatility is also balanced, meaning it's shifted towards both puts and calls. In this regard, traders don't have a clear understanding of where the stock will go, either up or down, because the volatility is evenly distributed. It's rare to see this, but this company has such a volatility smile. Let's look at the historical and implied volatility. As you can see, the volatility is currently below its historical values on the near end, meaning the implied volatility is less than historical values, while on the far end, the implied volatility is higher than historical values. This is very good information for the future. It will definitely help us in formulating a sound and low-risk strategy. Let's look at the options and the volume of trading in options. It's quite substantial. As we can see, the highest volume is concentrated around the $1,400 level. These are calls. Well, puts are concentrated around the $1,330 level, and that's the one to pay attention to. As we can see at the moment, the company is approaching this level, and there are several possible scenarios here. First, if we break through this level, there's a high probability that we'll see acceleration due to gamma squeezing and price gamma. I'll explain a bit more about this shortly. I'll continue. But also, this $1,400 level acts as a very, very strong barrier. As we can see so far, the stock has not been able to overcome this level. And this is directly related to this huge options wall. You see, it's struggling, so just can't break through. Let me tell you why it can't break through. It's precisely because of this massive options volume. Let me tell you why gamma squeezing might occur and what it is. When retail investors and ordinary people buy call options, on the other side stands the market maker. They sell these options. And to avoid losses, they buy as many shares as required by Delta. This is called Delta neutral hedging. It's a dynamic strategy to avoid risks, and the market maker already earns from spreads and commissions. It doesn't matter to them which way the stock moves. The most important thing is to get commission compensation. And if the stock starts to rise significantly, the market maker must buy shares according to their delta neutral hedging strategy. And by buying shares, they further drive up the price. And there begins such a lagged, exaggerated rise in price that a lot of call options are bought. They must hedge all of this and the price just keeps rising until some trigger occurs or some serious fund sells enough volume to push the stock down. But I remind you that this delta hedging works both ways. And if the market maker starts to close out shares, consequently, they'll begin to heavily pressure the stock downwards. This is something not to be forgotten. What are we approaching? As we see, $1,400 is a huge wall. And if Broadcom company overcomes this wall, then the market maker must hedge all these options. Therefore, I assume that in the near future, but I'm talking about the nearest weeks, the market maker will not let the stock go up to take all this premium. But again, he won't suppress it entirely if a trigger occurs the stocks may shine upwards and start growing further. I highly recommend you pay attention to this and just keep a close eye on it. Why did I already tell you this? Let's also look at the 3D volatility. Rarely where you can see this, I'll definitely show it to you. Professionals immediately understand what's going on here. How to intelligently devise a strategy. Let's move on to strategy formulation. Based on the previously obtained information about option volatility, about their price, you can preliminarily devise a strategy, but again, I remind you never to repeat. 
all of this is taken exclusively for illustrative purposes, I personally will not open such a position. You can build something like that. With this strategy, as we see in the range from $1,000 to $1,600, you get a very solid profit. Again, here the range is very large from $1,000 to $1,600. It's almost 50%. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. But again, this strategy needs to be managed at the right moment to close the option, at the right moment to add stocks. According to the Delta, never repeat after me. If you open this strategy just like that, you will definitely lose money. If you need help devising a strategy, it's better to email me. I'll definitely help you. Since this company belongs to semiconductors, of course, we can see that the whole sector has grown very strongly. This is NVIDIA and AMD and Micron. We see that the semiconductor sector as a whole is growing very, very strongly. And this is not only for one day, but if we look at the year, then this sector, of course, has grown the most. It is growing very, very strongly. Let's return to the company. What can we expect in the near future? Let me remind you of my philosophy. I don't know where the stock will go. I have no idea, and anyone who claims to know where the stock will go is simply deceiving you. My logic revolves around managing positions skillfully. If you learn to manage your portfolio skillfully, you'll forget what price prediction is. I've already shown you a strategy where you earn regardless of whether the stock goes up or down. The most important thing is that it doesn't do it very sharply and quickly. But, again, such a thing can happen too. I've already informed you about the wall at $1,400 and the options that may be available. But again, what I can say is that at the moment I wouldn't buy this company. Why? Because it's obvious that it has grown very strong over the past 1.5 years. It has grown by 250%. That's a very, very strong growth. And in terms of risk-reward ratio, I believe it's not in the investor's favor. I mean, the stock could rise to $1,500, even higher to $1,600. Yes, it could rise if Gamma Squeeze has started, but it could also sharply fall to $1,000. It was literally there just a couple of months ago. What I'm getting at is, are you willing to risk to make $100 to $200 only to lose much more? This is called mathematical modeling and probability theory. According to probability theory, the risk-reward is not in your favor. And that's why I wouldn't recommend getting involved with this company for now. And also, by no means is this an investment recommendation you can, of course, do as you please. Also, in my opinion, the growth potential of this company is coming to an end. Yes, again, I'm not saying it's finished. The company may still make some upward moves, but globally, I believe there should be some correction before we can start growing to $2,000 to $2,500 and beyond. Yes, I fully believe this company could be worth much more. But again, it needs to evolve in cycles. This is a very good position for an investor. I created a poll on the channel. Let's see what you think about this company. Also, I advise you to watch this video. Here I talked about the five most promising companies that have very high profit potential. Good luck to everyone.